Welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program 2 for Science Exploration Mode. And in this video I will complete the first Mimnus mission. We can go to Mission Control and look at the missions. Here it is. The next primary mission, Bad Signal, orbit a probe with a communications antenna above Memnus. A reward of 400 science points. And also we can do some secondary missions. Lonely satellite. Um, the satellite won't, won't stay in Kerbin orbit, but the mission still counts. So we can track all of these missions. And I've already built a rocket with a communications satellite. And here it is. It's a little rocket. Nothing too special. But if you look under the fairing, we can see the satellite. Communications dish, some solar panels. And batteries, and also some fuel for maneuvering. Let's start the countdown. And another interesting thing is that we don't have kerbals, so uh, we need comnet connection, but that should be no problem because of the very big antenna that we have on the satellite. I will start the gravity turn now. Now I can press the prograde marker. The rocket should now keep the nose at the prograde marker. And then we should have a normal gravity turn. But I'd say we can tip the rocket a little bit more. That should be good. The apparatus is already over space or in space and That stage is done. We can also deploy the fairing. And now the satellite is exposed to space. You can see the antenna. And just a few meters and we're in space. Perfect. And now we can extend, extend the solar panels. And we are ready for the circularization burn. And this stage is for most of the Mimnus encounter. And after we reached carbon orbit, I can show you Mimnus and how to get there. And the satellite doesn't have any science experiments, but 
we don't need them. We will send a mission with Krabbles to Mimnus in the next episode. And we have reached orbit and we also completed the Kerbin satellite mission. And in the map view, view you can see Kerbin. And if you seen my MAN video, you already know the MAN. And if we zoom out a little bit more, we can see Mimnus, the other moon of Kerbin. And Mimnus is smaller than the Mun, and it has these very big flat spots, which are great for landing. But this satellite won't land, it will just orbit Mimnus. And after that, we should unlock the mission to land on Mimnus. So let's make the maneuver to get to Mimnus. We can just set it as a target. And you can see the descending and ascending nodes. 5.6 and minus 5.6 degrees. So we have to change the, the orbit a little bit. Okay, that's in five seconds. <laughs> Very good timing. <laughs> we are a little bit late, but should be okay. You can see the notes changing and yeah, 0 0.3, that's perfect. And at the upper apsis, I think going prograde is the only thing we need to do. And that would be our Mimnus encounter. And that's already enough. I think. Yeah. So the gravity is very low, so we can adjust that later. I have enough fuel for corrections. Seven seconds. And it's actually harder to land on the Mun than on Mimnus because of the gravity. But it's a little bit harder to get to Mimnus than the Mun. We just had a, a Mun account encounter right there. But we don't want that. We want to go straight for Mimnus. That's fine, and the only the only thing left to do is time warp to Memnus and
I hope that's the right point. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and now we are in the sea of influence of Memnus. And if we time walk to this point. and face retrograde we can break and make orbit and obviously this mission is pretty easy but in the next episode we will actually land on Mimnus with Kerbals and it will be a little bit harder so a bit of a challenge. And we completed the mission. And for an experienced Kerbal Space Program 2 player like me, <laughs> bringing a satellite to Mimnus is pretty easy, but I will try to show all missions in this playthrough so beginners can follow along and maybe even copy my missions and I also try to build the rocket designs in a way that you don't need every single science point to unlock something in the tech tree and I also build the rockets in a way that I have more fuel than I actually need. You can see I have 600 meters per second left in this stage and I even have another stage. So that's pretty good. That was a little bit too much. And I will just try to change this to be a polar orbit. Satellites in a polar orbit is pretty good so if something wants to land let's say here and carbon is over there the polar satellite should give a signal and relay from carbon to the other side And with the satellite in place, I'd say we can go back to mission control and collect the science rewards.
here are the two, the two missions that we completed. Lonely Satellite. The side mission. 100 signs for that. And the primary mission, Bad Signal. 400 signs for that. And in the next episode, we will land at the source of the mysterious signal on the, sur on the surface of Mimnus. And I will just spend the science points that we just got from the missions in the R&D center. And I nearly have all of tier 1 unlocked and I don't need this so there's no need to spend points on that but in tier 2 I will just look at what we have here okay so I think the best thing to do is expanded construction to get the medium payloads later and precision aerodynamics for the nose cones and that was everything with everything complete and no science points left that's the end of the episode bye